Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks for stopping by, I do appreciate it, guys. I got a beer here from a, an old friend of mine, uh, uh, Leandro, uh, lives out in California. I'm not gonna say exactly what city, I don't think uh, that's information that needs to be out, but he's on the coast out there, the coast out there. And uh, he's been a subscriber of mine for a long, long time, guys. And when we went to California and back, back in 2014, I was lucky enough to meet him and his lovely wife and some of his friends and we made a trip from one brewery uh, to another, it was across the mountain, so uh, uh, had a good time that day. It was uh, very, uh, very enjoyable sipping some very tasty craft beers with Leandro. So, and he sent me this out of the blue. It showed up uh, yesterday and I um, uh, opened it up and I said, wow. So, and he sent a sheet with some information on here and, and he tells me the date's on the bottom of the can of 82223 20, 8, 22, and he says cheers Greg um, and he's written probably something similar to what the information on Beer Advocate or their website. Made well so the is the result of lifelong friends seeking to share a quality handmade craft beer with our beloved home state. Our vision is inspired by California's legacy of adventure and innovative design and our beer reflects that and as much in the great outdoors as from a bar stool at one of our two Ventura tap rooms. Ventura! Whenever you take Made West, you take the spirit of the West Coast with you. Wait, isn't that special? A hazy IPA packed with jaw-dropping quantity of mosaic hops. This aromatic IPA has ripe, juicy character of notes of fresh peaches and mango, a soft, silky mouthfeel, complemented by a smooth, refreshing finish. Hops are mosaic, some call Eureka. ABV 7%, I'll be 35. 16 ounce cans, four pack only. Ships to California only. So, unless you're in California or traveling through California, you can't get this beer unless you have a good friend like Leandro that is willing to send you something from a brewery that only ships to California. Anyway, uh, I don't, I'm pretty damn sure that I have not had anything from this brewery. Uh, I don't know how big the brewery is, how long they've been in business. I didn't research any of that. I don't have time for all of that in the beer videos. I tried to keep them as short as I can now, not be long-winded. So with that aspect, let's jump right into it. Over to uh, Untapped California State Fair 2019 Bronze winner, Hazy IPA. And their description is what I just read off the sheet that Leandro sent with the beer. Looks very orange juicy in the glass in the pictures here, guys. And like I said, he said the date was on it. It's on the rim here, Candon 822-23. Very easy to read right here on the side of the rim. So nice. Uh, very nice color. Eye-catching color, not a, a lot of artwork or anything on it, just got MW on the front with that uh, teal blue or whatever color blue that is. I gotta spin this thing around, I got it back it backwards. There we go. Looks pretty good coming out, looks like a New England style beer. I'm not saying it is, but the appearance is very hazy and that's what they say it is. Hazy IP, that's the name of it even. So, And that's going to do it for the first four MW. And on the back it says Hops, Mosaic, Citra, Simcoe. Oh, so. Finger and a half ahead on that pork. Oh, that looks really, really good. That's a, a really good looking hazy IPA there, guys. Now, the aroma and the taste will 
We'll see if it gets up to the New England style. Untapped has it listed as a New England style. So, and it looks like it. What do you think? Hmm? To the nose, we go. Wow. Guess what I smell? Mango and peaches, yeah. That smells pretty good. I mean, I'm impressed with the appearance. The aroma is awesome. I don't think Leandro would have sent it to me if he didn't think it was awesome. So, he didn't give me any notes like that if it what he thought of it, but I think it's probably going to be a winner. Let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Leandro. So, say hello to your lovely wife, Christina. That's tasty. I mean, it's not blowing my hair back, but that's a pretty co pretty tasty West Coast beer. Now, the location doesn't have anything to do with it. It's the process, the brewing process, and Whirlpool, and all kind of different things that they do to make it look like this. But I think it could be even more intense if they throw a little bit more in there. Get it up to the world class caliber. Of hops. And it costs a lot to brew those beers. That's why they're so pricey. Uh, when you go to places like Treehouse and Trillium, they're well made beers and people know it and they pay you that to get back. So, back in Swirly Swirl. We want to make sure we get it all of it out there. That's pretty tasty, yeah. I, I would probably be buy this beer, guys. So, I mean, if he didn't tell me what a four pack costs, but if it's reasonably priced, that would be in my fridge if I lived in California and could get my hands on it. That's tasty. Worthy enough so far. Let's see if I got the same opinion when I come back. Right? Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I find it very tasty, guys. I mean, uh, Leandro would not have sent it to me if he didn't think it was an impressive beer worthy to spend his money on it and pay to ship it to me. So Leander, thanks a lot, brother. I do appreciate it. Tasty beer. It's very tasty. You have a, a lot of tasty beers in your neck of the wood. I mean, I think Kern River is where we went to. They have some tasty stuff there too. So uh, let's do the final chug. Very enjoyable. Very smooth. 35 IBUs. I mean, not bitter at all. And <laughs> I'm getting more into the less bitterness over the last couple of years. Uh, 35 is a lot better than 70, especially on a 7% beer. Final shot. Again, guys, that's worthy. I mean, they could really intensify that and get into the A category by adding more stuff to it, but more hops, uh, but I think it's worthy for seven percent smooth, easy drinking mango, and the peaches are there. Uh, I like it. I like it. Ninety for me on this one, guys. It's it's, it's into the A category, so uh, I would buy this beer. I would. So let's jump over to Beer Advocate. They say ninety-two. So I'm a little less than what they are giving it. And over to Untap. They're at 3.93, which is in their B plus range, so uh, a little better than what they're giving it. So I'm in between Untapped and Beer Advocate on my grade on this one. So if you've had, if you're in California or you're lucky enough to have had Made West Brewing's Hazy IPA, let me know what you think. Uh, I liked it. Did you like it? Till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.